Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. A squared is equal to B plus 241 and B squared is equal to A plus 241. Our job is to find all possible values of A and B. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2 and we subtract from equation 1 equation 2. So this will become a squared minus b squared is equal to b plus 241 minus a plus 241 next a squared minus b squared is equal to we remove these brackets so this will become b plus 241 minus a minus 241. Now this negative 241 will be cancelled out with this positive 241 and this will become a squared minus b squared. We move this negative a to the left hand side this will become plus a. This plus b will become negative b at left hand side is equal to 0. Now this a squared minus b squared will become a plus b times a minus b and from these two terms plus a minus b we can factor out plus 1. In bracket left a minus b is equal to 0. Now this a minus b is a common factor so we factor out this a minus b and in bracket left this a plus b and this plus 1. In bracket left a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation if we move this negative b to the right hand side this will become b is equal to a. From this equation we move this a and 1 to the right hand side this will become b is equal to negative 1 minus a. Now we recall equation 1. Equation 1 is uh, a squared is equal to b plus uh, 241. Equation 1 is uh, a squared is equal to b plus uh, 241. Equation 1 is uh, a squared is equal to b plus uh, 200. 41. First in this equation we replace this b with this a. So this equation will become a squared is equal to a plus 241. Move these two terms to the left hand side this will become a squared minus a minus 241 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula a is equal to negative so value of b is negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times C is in negative 241 divided by 2 times A is 1. Next A is equal to negative times negative 1 will become 1 plus or minus square root of this negative 1 squared will become 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 241 will become plus 964 divided by this
this two times one will become two. Next, a is equal to one plus minus square root of this one plus nine sixty four will become nine hundred sixty five divided by two. Now to find the values of b, we use the equation b is equal to a. Since b is equal to a, so b will be equal to this same value one plus minus root nine hundred sixty five over two. Now we solve this second case. In this equation, we replace this b with this negative one minus a. So this will become a squared is equal to negative one minus a plus two hundred forty one. Next, a squared is equal to this negative a. Negative a and negative one plus two hundred forty one will become plus two hundred forty. Move these two terms to the left hand side. This will become a squared plus a minus two hundred forty is equal to zero. And this quadratic equation is factorable. We write this a squared and we split this plus a as a negative. Fifteen times a plus sixteen a minus two hundred forty is equal to zero. From these two terms, we can factor out a in by the left a minus fifteen, and from these two terms, we can factor out plus sixteen in by the left a minus. 15 is equal to zero. This a minus 15 is a common factor, so we factor out this a minus 15. In by the left, a plus 16 is equal to zero. And from here, either this expression, a minus 15 is equal to zero, or this expression, a plus 16 is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of a is equal to 15 and from this equation we get the value of a is equal to negative 16 now to find the values of b we use this equation b is equal to negative 1 minus a B is equal to negative one minus a. So when a is equal to fifteen, then b will be equal to negative one minus fifteen, and the b will be equal to negative sixteen. When a is equal to negative sixteen, then b will be equal to negative one plus sixteen, and b. Will be equal to fifteen. So from this case, when a is equal to fifteen, then b will be negative sixteen. When a is equal to negative sixteen, then b will be fifteen. From this case, we have same values of a and b. So the final set of solutions of a comma b is equal to the first pair is one plus root nine hundred sixty-five over two comma one plus root nine hundred sixty-five over two. In the second pair is one minus root nine hundred sixty-five over two, and one minus root nine hundred sixty-five over two. 
and the third pair is uh, 15 comma negative 16 and the fourth pair is uh, negative 16 comma 15 this is the final answer of this problem